Seek Right Tech community, Roderick here. Motorola is hosting a Motor Razor 2022 event in China on August 2nd, 2022. They will also unveil the Moto X30 Pro smartphone. This event is the first of what is projected to be a series of events to launch their latest version of their foldable phone with future events for Europe and USA to be announced later. It is also being held strategically before Samsung's Unpacked event scheduled for August 10th, 2022, where Samsung will unveil their new Z Flip 4 5G foldable phone. We are taking our first look and sharing our first impressions of the Moto Razr 2022 foldable. Let's get started. First, the Moto Razr's design has been overhauled. That chin-like bottom that most of us cringed at on previous versions of the Razr is now gone. Motorola has adopted the Z Flip 4 body profile type that now has curvy edges, a sleek bezel trim all around, it sports dual rear cameras, we'll get to that shortly, and a 3 inch size screen on the cover display. The frame is a sturdy metal chassis frame with an equally sturdy metal hinge that closes flush when it is closed. A much more refined, sleeker look and appeal. When you open the phone, you see a much cleaner look and appeal to the phone. For all reports I've read and preliminary pictures I was able to glean for this video shows no chin-like bottom on the new look razor, which is excellent. The phone shows a center keyhole punch style selfie camera and the crease is said to be a non-factor as the line is virtually undetectable even when scrolling on the screen. The Razer 2022 main camera is a dual camera setup with a 50 megapixel wide lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with a max pixel resolution of 8700 by 5800. The video recording is up to 4K at 60 frames per second. Now this is a significant upgrade from the previous uh, model which was a 48 megapixel single camera lens. The front selfie camera is a 32 megapixel wide lens, center keyhole punch style lens with up to 4K at 30 frames per second video recording. Take a look at this camera comparison chart between a Moto Razr 2022 and the Z Flip 4 5G and you can clearly see that the Razr's camera setup, both main and selfie, is superior to the soon released Z Flip 4 camera setup. As Samsung is outfitting their new Z Flip 4 with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip, so is Motorola with their Razr 2022. For Motorola, this is a huge upgrade for them from using the Snapdragon 765G processing chipset and models in the past. Adding the 8 Plus Gen 1 processing chip and coupling it with the Adreno 730 GPU and the 120 Hz display refresh rate radically increases the performance and efficiency of the Razer 2022. A recent confirmed report on Weibo.com shows that Motorola states they have upgraded the battery in the new Razer 2022 from the 2800 milliwatt battery to a 3500 milliwatt battery size. It was rumored earlier that they would maintain the 2800 milliwatt battery size as in previous versions. This upgrade will allow the phone to take full advantage of the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip as well as the Adreno 730 graphics chip and supply a more fluid and crispy scrolling motion on the display making full use of the 120 hertz refresh rate and offering a solid experience to the user of the phone overall. This is excellent. Projected battery time is approximately two days on a single charge. Now I will go through the specs rundown of what we know and what has been released thus far prior to Motorola's event in China on August 2nd, 2022. The main phone is a 6.7 inch 
FHD plus AMOLED display with 1080 by 2520 pixel resolution for 1200 nits of brightness and a 120 hertz refresh rate. It has an 86% screen to body ratio along with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. The cover phone is a 3 inch FHD AMOLED display with 120 hertz refresh rate. It's comprised of the Corning Gorilla Glass 7 Victus front and back along with a metal frame chassis with a metal flip hinge. It has an IPX3 water repellent coating protection rating. The camera is a dual lens 50 megapixel wide plus 12 megapixel ultra wide with LED flash. It has no optical zoom. The max pixel resolution is 8700 by 5800. Video recording is up to 4K at 60 frames per second. The front selfie camera is a center keyhole punch style camera that's a 32 megapixel wide with video recording up to 4K at 30 frames per second. The battery is a 3500 milliwatt battery with approximately battery life of up to two days on a single charge. It's wired fast charging with a 33 watt adapter and it has not wireless nor reverse wireless charging capable. The operating system is the Android 12 One UI 4.0. The CPU is the Qualcomm SM8475 Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. The GPU is the Adreno 730 chip. RAM is your choice at the time of purchase of either 8 gigabytes of RAM or 12 gigabytes of RAM. Storage also is your choice at the time of purchase of 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes. There's no micro SD card slot. Audio is two stereo speakers and note there's no 3.5 millimeter audio jack port. It comes with 5G wireless, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, it is NFC capable and it comes with one USB Type-C 3.1 port. Colors include polished graphite, blush gold, and liquid mercury. Now the price in the US is projected between $1,000 to $1,100 USD. The projected release date for both Europe and for the US is to be determined. It has not been scheduled or set yet. We expect it to be released in China just shortly after the event on August 2nd. I will provide updates on this phone after the August 2nd China event by Motorola. Drop your comments below. What are your thoughts about the new Moto Razr 2022? Which compact style foldable would you buy? A Moto Razr 2022 or Samsung's Z Flip 4 5G and why? What phone are you considering buying if not one of these two? Share your thoughts below. If you found this video helpful, informative, and it provided you with effective, useful content, please click that like button. Click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and join the SRT family. I post new videos on Saturdays. If you want to see more videos like this one, leave me a comment below. Leave me a comment and share your thoughts about this video. Check out the links below in the description box. Watch this video next and check out this playlist. Until next time, I'm Roderick, your host and narrator, and this is Seek Right Tech Reviews.